Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to work on the covers. You've seen the video of me putting the embellishing the covers. I'll hold them up there now. That's what they've dried like. I just put two coats of black gesso over them. So that's my front cover and that's my back. So today we're just going to put some colour on them. Just a little bit of colour, make them come to life a little bit. I've got a basket of all metallic paints here. I've got the salvage patina disgrace distress spray stain rather and I've also got this Sahara gold kiss uh, this is what's it called um, polish like a like a polish so I want to use that colour I want to use that colour um, I don't need to use all these I don't think I want the which one shall we use we'll use that one and we'll use that one Right, let's put them to that. I'll just put them over here for a minute because we can always get them there, can't we, if we want to. What's this one? I might have a little go of that. And then I've got my rust paints. This will be the first time experimenting with these, so we'll have a little play and see what we can do. Right, to start off with, I want to put some of my uh, Salvage Patina Distress Spray Stain down. So I'm just going to grab my towel, just put that on my desk. Okay. I'm just going to grab my heat gun then I've got it next to me. Let's hope it's going to work for us. Right, so I'm going to use this. This is the Salvage Patina Distressed Spray Stain. I'm just going to... That's quite dark that. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I was expecting it to be a bit more vibrant. So not to worry. Let's just put the heat gun on and dry that off. So next I've got the Distress Spray Stain in Antique Bronze. I'm just going to spray a bit of this. This is my background. Okay, and I'm going to put on my... Oh, it's bringing out the Salvage Patina now. Can you see the colour there coming through? I hope you can see it. Right, let me just put on my heat gun and dry off this then. Okay, so that's dried. Now I don't know whether you can see there, you can see that salvage patina colour coming out. Let's just move this a minute. I might need it again in a little bit. I might want to put some more sprays on. Let's have a look. Do we need to zoom in any further? Just do a little bit. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work with my paints and the first colour I'm going to use, let me just, oh I'll wipe them in a minute, I just would need to remember to wipe the nozzles. Okay, so I'm going to come in with, uh, should we use this one or should we use this one? Rustic brown or, I can't see what colour that is, let's try a bit of this. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some dry brushing now all over my covers going to use a few different colour paints. I'm probably going to dry off in between each colour um, because I don't want it vibrant. I want it um, sort of coppery golden colours with maybe a little bit of the blue or teal should I say. Let me just get rid of that. This is so this is a cadence paint. I've never used it before. It's just a metallic one that I picked up. And it's in the colour Kestain, I think it's called. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get my... Um, I think I'll start with this little brush. I'm just going to get some paint. I'm going to put it in my lid. Only want a little bit. And I'm just going to start painting over my background. You only want a little bit on your brush when you're dry brushing and just sort of flick your brush backwards and forwards you don't want a lot on there and just work in the paints to be honest that looks more like a coppery colour to me than a chocolate brown I'm not I'm going to put a little bit on the front only a little bit can you see how it brings out all the all the embellishments I want this to be quite grungy looking so yeah I'm not impressed with that it's more of a it's more of a copper colour than a chocolate brown but it's nice it's giving it that lovely aged look so you just keep flicking your brush up and down and just working that 
that colour in. I think I've got enough of that on there. Right, that's enough of that. Now I'm going to come in now with... Let me just make sure the lids are on this properly. I don't want them to all leak. I'm going to come in. This is a Finiber Metallic Rustic Brown. Let me just wipe my hands. Let me just grab a baby wipe out and then I've got one on my desk. How is everybody doing, guys? Are you all okay today? I hope so. This gorgeous sunshine we've got. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Loving it. We've had a lovely weekend. Right, let's just take that off there. Ooh, that's a really rich colour. I'm just going to use the paint that's on here. I'm just going to work my brush in. I'm just going to put a bit on the side there. And that doesn't look like brown to me neither. That looks like gold. I like it though, it's the colours that I was looking for. Can you see how all the stencilings all come to life now with using the dry brushing? Oops. <laughs> yeah, you only want a little tiny bit on your brush. Let me just wipe the edge of that that's covered in paint and I keep putting my hands in it. Right, let's try this one, the front cover. It's a bit diff <laughs> a bit harder when you've got all your embellishments on to dry brush over. But if you just, I'm just going to get a little bit more paint. if I should dry off in between these colours before I try another colour. Right, I'm just going to wipe that up before it all dries on my mat and I've got to start scraping it. Oops, I'm putting it everywhere. Oh, I am a messy crafter, aren't I? I am a messy crafter. Right, let's just get that there. I'm just going to wipe that brush. Let's put the lid on this. It won't take long to finish this off because I don't want to put too much, too many different colours on. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put on my heat gun for a minute and let's just dry off them that, that we've done up to now, okay? The Distress Paint in the Salvage Patina or whether to use this deep turquoise. I think the papers in the kit and the stamperia pads are more this tealy colour so I think I'm going to dry brush with a little bit of this. I'm just going to put a bit on the side of my mat. Only needs a little bit and I'm going to put my brush through like I did before and then I'm just going to dry brush over. Yeah that's perfect colour, perfect colour. To go with the papers, yeah, definitely. Let's just put, just keep flicking your brush up and down, just a little bit more. Yeah, this colour will go lovely with the stamp area. Uh, paper pads. <laughs> I couldn't think what I was going to say. Then I lost my train of thought halfway through. A little bit more. Yeah, I'm loving that colour. That was what I was hoping it was going to look like. Just carry on, just dry brushing for a little bit. And then I will leave this to all settle and dry overnight and see what it dries like. Just going to get a little bit more paint. The good thing about your glass mat is that you can just I'm 
Okay, I've got a bit too much on there, so let's just put some over here. I don't want it to be all blue when you can't see the colours underneath. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. What do you think, guys? Should I? I'm sure you can see. That blue will go lovely with the... I'm going to go over it with the rust paint as well, so but some of that blue will disappear again. Right, let's do this piece. brush I hope you're enjoying this journal I'm really enjoying putting it together it's a real different challenge for me um, yeah I hope you're enjoying it bit of a change isn't it I don't like that big load of blue there I'll have to try and go over that with see here put a bit too much there yeah I like that colours they are gorgeous that was just what I had and you know when you've got an image in your in your in your mind of what you want it to look like and that is it actually which is I didn't think I'd be able to achieve right I'm just going to put on my heat gun I'm just going to dry that off and then I'm going to come in with something else right let's have a look at these I don't think I'm going to use all three colors this is the Finiber rust effect paste so let's have a little look. I've never used it before, so it'll be a first time for me. But I know I don't want to put too much on. I think I'm going to go with this one. I don't think I'm going to use all three. I think I'm just going to go with this one and try that. And let's have a look what it looks like. Let me just wipe the top of this paintbrush. I should have brought some water in. I forgot to fill my water pot up. It doesn't matter if it's still got a bit of bloom, but I don't want to contaminate my paints. So where's my spatula? Let me just, sorry for stretching over, just get this spatula. Right, let's have a look at this then, shall we, and see. We're not losing anything. We can always go over it. That's the good thing with mixed media, isn't it? If I didn't like it, I could just put a coat of black gesso over it and just start again. That's why I don't mind trying, because if you don't like it, just start from the beginning again. It's no big loss at all you've got to have a little play haven't you i mean like i keep saying you guys i'm no expert at this at all i'm just doing what i feel like doing if i'm 100 percent honest yeah i'm just having a go having a go and seeing what we can come up with um, i'm quite pleased with it at the moment i think it looks quite nice at the moment that's a, like a rust color and it's all over my hands let me just wipe it I don't want orange hands for the rest of the week. <laughs> right, like I said, if, oh, it proper is a, a real rusty colour, isn't it? Real rusty colour. Let me just grab another one. I watched it. Uh, oh, what's her name? Martha from Marame Small. Like she's used it. I was having a little look on YouTube, you know, to see what the effect of this paint looked like before I bought it, because. I can't remember, I don't think it was that expensive, but it wasn't one of the cheapest ones. And I thought, well, to do a rust effect, you need a rust paint, don't you? And this is like a, um, it's a paste. So, let's have a look at that. Let's just work my brush into there and see what we get there. Oh yeah, can you see? It makes it look like it's old and rusty. I like that. That is right up my street. Let's put a bit more down. Yeah, right up my street. I'm loving this. Anything messy. <laughs> Anything messy. Yeah, I don't think I'm... I don't know. I might come in with one. Oh, that's a bit too much there. Let's put on there. Let's just see if we can pick it up with the brush and brush it around. Yeah, it definitely looks like rust, doesn't it? 
definitely looks like rust. I like that. Let's put a bit over the clock. I hope I can still get my rings. You know my rings on. Yeah, I think I can. Perhaps we should have a look at the other colours and try it and see what we can come up with. Maybe we could put a little bit of each colour on. We're not losing nothing, are we? Like I said, if it looks awful, we can go back and paint it black gesso and start again. Right, let's try this one now. Oh yeah, it just picks up the rust. It's gorgeous. Love it. I hope the camera's picking it up. It does just make it look like it's all aged and rusty. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go over it with the other colours because I like this colour. Especially on the cogs. The wings, the key. I mean, this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea, I, I understand that. But I just had a vision of this mixed media cover for this steampunk journal that I thought I'd like to try. That is absolutely gorgeous stuff. I can't believe how much like rust it looks. Yeah, it's beautiful. Love it. Yeah, I like that. I'm really happy with that. I might just go over it with a little bit of this darker one. I'm not sure what to do or whether to leave it. I've put too much there now. Let's see if I can pick that up. I might just go over it again with a little bit of... I might even try that salvage patina at the end. We're not losing nothing, are we trying? It's just a matter of experimenting which is what I'm doing now I had no idea how this was going to turn out like I said I had a bit of a vision what I'd like it to turn out like and that is just looks so rusty and aged doesn't it I'm made up with that yeah I am made up with that right I think I've got enough of that on let's see if I can scrape this bit back in the tub because it's not the cheapest of things to waste okay let's just put my lid on and then we'll bring in we'll try that darker brown i think where's the white gone let's just get rid of that i can give my mat a good clean off when we're finished it's no problem right let's have a look at this then and maybe go over with a little bit of this darker color Oh, I'm loving this. This is just right up my street, this is. Oh, that's a really deep chocolate colour. Right, let's try a bit of this then. I can't believe how much that rust paste makes it look really rusty. I know that I should have. I just wasn't expecting it to look so, so nice, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to go over it again with some blue, I think. I think I've gone, I don't know whether I've gone a bit too dark. Just lighten it up a little bit. Let's put a bit of this on here. I mean, you could use any metallic paints. You don't, you'd get the same result dry brushing. You know, if you just use your cheap metallic paints it would be really nice finish as well i'm just using these because i've got them i just wanted to try and see what they'd look like right what i'm going to do before i come in with the other blue i'm just going to dry this dry this paint off and then we can come in with the other color blue let me just get rid of that okay i'm just going to pop on my heat gun guys won't be a second I'm going to try a little bit of this salvage patina. Let me just grab some scissors and open it. I forgot to open it before we started. This is the Distress Paint. So I have no idea 
what it will look like but we can always try and like I said we can always go over it and fix it if we don't like the colour we can just start again I think that's the fun of mixed media isn't it just trying different things you know um, I don't know what all these products are for and what effect they give because I've not, I've not used them all but it's nice to get them out and have a little play and see exactly what I wonder if there's a thing on there you know and see exactly what they do right let's get rid of that in there and let's try a little bit this isn't metallic but we can try a little bit and let's just have a look what we think we don't have to no I don't want that on I don't think Um, I don't know though it's looking better now it's working itself in because it is the patina let me just poke that let me just put my scissors in there I'm hoping my things will go through here I know my ring binders oh it'll be a mess if it won't <laughs> yeah I like this but it's not metallic but I've got some ink of gold to go over the top with so yeah, I think that just brings out the you know you could probably do it all you probably all do it better than me. I'm a novice at um <laughs> I'm a novice at mixed media really. There's some fantastic artists on you know that you do some great videos. Yeah, that's nice if you just put a little bit on just flicking the brush as you can see I can't believe how much that like rust that that paste has made it look that's fantastic amazes me how they make these products yeah I like that bit of blue I think I don't know whether to come back in with a bit of the teal as well or to leave it might just come back in with a little bit of the teal I don't know but I like that patina on there now actually don't think I will I don't know what it's going to dry like no idea what it's going to dry like I've never used it before but we can always add to it can't we if we're not happy with it when it's dry I can always um, add to it Um, I think I might come in with a bit of a darker a bit of a darker brown and just go over it a little bit I think I've put a bit too much where's that um, where's that this one here this Pebio pearl this looks quite nice let's have a look at this one to <laughs> trial and error yep that's exactly what it is trial and error let's just try and see how see how we like it okay, let's just put a bit of that down I only want a little bit just to what did I do with my brush oh it's here just to dry brush over it again just to knock back that blue a little bit it's just about building up layers really isn't it you know just getting the colour to how you want it you know I don't think I'm going to mess around with it much more because I'm quite happy with how that looks because it looks really aged and rusty doesn't it I think I might come in with a bit of teal a tiny little bit let's just put a little bit more of this on the back Yeah, that's my inside back cover. I have got paint down there, but I'll sort that. I'll fix it with something or other. Well, it's definitely grungy, guys, isn't it? Definitely a grungy cover, which is what I was going for. So I think we've, we've succeeded with the grunge. I'm just going to have to wait and see exactly how it dries. Right, I am going to come back in with just a little bit of this teal. Just going to dip my brush in it and then I 
yeah I'm happy with that I think let's just swap over yeah that little bit of blue you can see a big line of paint there I think we need just a tiny little bit more Now I think I've put too much on now, haven't I? Let's see if we can work it in. I'm going to put some gold, Inca gold, over the top as well. So God, it's unbelievable how much that paste does actually look like rust. I think I need a bit more on my key. And that gel medium, I would definitely recommend that that I used. It stuck everything absolutely brilliant. I was a bit uh, sceptical, you know, whether it would hold all this metal. But, oh, yeah, I left it overnight and it ain't going anywhere. So thank you to Dawn from Shiny Silver Treasures for saying about your uh, gel medium. Leave it to dry, you know, leave it to dry overnight if you can. It definitely worked much better. Right, I think I'm happy with that because I definitely wanted some blue tones, which we've got. I think I'm just going to knock it back a little bit with a bit of my Inca Gold. Let's just... Right, so I'll have to use... I'm just going to put a little bit of this... Oh, it's all coming out everywhere. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my mat because I don't want to put my fingers in and contaminate it. So let's just squidge that down. Let's wipe that. Okay, where's my brush? Let's just work a bit of this in over the top. I'm really happy with that cover I'm really yeah I'm really happy with it guys yeah it's how I imagined it to look that finishes it off doesn't it as you can still see the blue underneath so how many layers have we got on there I couldn't tell you we've just been painting haven't we and painting and painting Yeah, I think I'm happy with that colour now. I don't think I want to knock it back anymore. As you can still see the blue. But yeah. What do you think, guys? I hope you like it. Yeah, like I said, it's not going to be lots of people's cup of tea. But if you like mixed media and you like grunge, then you'd probably like this. Yeah, that is gorgeous. I'm happy with that don't think I want to do anything else to it I think I'm just going to leave it to dry properly overnight and then have a look and if I'm happy with it then there we go that's done if I'm not then I'll have to fix it I'm trying to bring out that script writing a bit more Yeah, I like that. A little bit over the clock. Yeah, it's half term here in the UK for the children this week, so I'm so glad that we've got some lovely weather. We went, we spent the weekend at the beach. We had a lovely weekend just blazing about the beach yeah it was really lovely the girls have gone bowling today with their friends so I've got a nice couple of hours to to myself so I thought I would turn the camera on and we'd do this cover right let's have a look at that I'm going to put it somewhere to dry let's just wipe over so there we go then guys uh, which way around are we? Yeah, that way around. That is my front and back cover. 
I'm sure I don't need to zoom anymore, do I? I think you can see the... There we go. Yeah, I really enjoyed putting that together. So as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell, which will notify you when I upload any new videos. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye.